love drinking from that. Uh, it's really refreshing. So, last week, we got Sonic Central giving us Sonic Colors, an upcoming Sonic game for 2022. And that's pretty much it from Sonic Central. But next week is when re things start to go down. From big game announcements to big games releasing this month. It's about to go crazy, so in this video, I'm gonna be breaking down everything that's happening this month, as well as my schedule for this week. Watching June 9th on a Tuesday, Guilty Gear Strive finally comes out. I've been following updates for this game since it, it's announcement back in EVO 2019. It's become one of my most anticipated fighting games since Injustice 2. Everything from the characters to the soundtrack just gets me hyped to play this game. Also, I've lost track of how many times I've listened to the main theme for it. That is bullshit blazing! Still my heart is blazing! If the word kill me, I don't need a new word! How dare you! Soon you will know! We already know the smell of the game! Then Thursday, Final Fantasy VII Integrate launches, which will feature some DLC for Yuffie in a new story arc, which will feature her in Midgar, apparently, as well as some enhanced graphics for the PS5 version, so that's going to be really fun to check out. Almost slipped my mind while I was making this, but we're also going to have the Summer Game Fest happening on that following day, uh, which is a bunch of announcements from, like, IGN, but there is going to be some performances for S Sonic Music, as well as a Crush 40 performance, so that's going to be really fun. And for Friday, we got the Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, which will be launching as a PS5 exclusive, and Game, Game Builder Garage for the Switch. I know a lot of people are more interested in the Ratchet and Clank game, but I'm more curious about what you can do in the Game Builder Garage. Primarily because that will feature an online play, something Dreams, a game on the PlayStation that also lets you make your own games, does not have. And I really just want to see how people are able to create their own multiplayer for certain games. So that will be really be interesting to check out with friends. And then Saturday. It begins. E3 officially returns. Saturday portion will mainly have Ubisoft, Gearbox Entertainment, and a session with Game Beast. So, if you're an Ubisoft fan, you're probably excited because we might get um, some Assassin's Creed. So that might be interesting to see. Sunday, on the other hand, is the Xbox and Bethesda showcase, which I know more people are really interested in, as well as the Square Enix showcase and the PC gaming show. So Sunday is about to be the big highlight of the three. Monday? I don't really know what's happening for Monday. All I know is that Capcom's um, gonna be there for Monday, so we'll have to see. Maybe we'll get some stuff for Street Fighter or Resident Evil, so we'll have to see. And as the final closer, we got the Nintendo Direct, which will be Tuesday, June 15th, for a 40-minute Direct, followed by Nintendo Treehouse. Y'all already know it's about to go crazy! Now that I've broken down everything that's about to happen, let's talk about some predictions, shall we? I'm hoping that Ed Boon is not trolling. But he has been hinting at a Marvel vs. Mortal Kombat fighting game, or just a Marvel fighting game. Could it be Marvel vs. Mortal Kombat? Marvel vs. DC? Marvel vs. Injustice? We'll have to see. I am certain that we are getting a new Netherrealm fighting game because this two-year cycle is close to happening because normally we would get either Mortal Kombat, then Injustice, then Mortal Kombat, and then etc. Because I don't see there's anything else to be added into Mortal Kombat, because I think they're practically done at this point. Sega is going to be at E3, so we could get more gameplay footage of Sonic Colors Ultimate, because it was revealed yesterday that there is a new Wisp, and Tails does get to carry around in some levels. And we could also see something for the 2022 game. 
Probably not, but still, we could see at least something for Sonic. I don't really think of anything from Microsoft unless it has something to do with either Rare or Halo, but most likely, we might see another reveal of another anime game, fighting game, because like that's become a pattern since E3, because like 2017 we had Fighters, and then we had Jump Force, and then Kakarot, and Jump Force, so we'll see how that goes. Funny thing, while I was recording this, a uh, rumor just like came out of nowhere, which was talking about a possible 2D fighting game for My Hero Academia. My Hero Academia currently has two fighting games right now, which are My Hero Wants Justice 1 and 2, which plays like a recycled Naruto Ninja Storm fighting game, which is 3D. But don't get me wrong, Ninja Storm is good, but a lot of 2D fighting games always show much more promise when marketing to the competitive scene. That's what happened with Dragon Ball Fighters, and it sold 6 million copies. So let's hope Arc System and Bandai Namco recreate that possibility. And we all know what I really want to talk about. There has not been anything else of interest for Nintendo for a while now. The Direct we got in February didn't really live up to the hype of the drought for so long. And we gotta see how they redeem themselves with this E3. The direct um, tweets did say that they're gonna focus on software being released in 2021. I'm not sure we're gonna see Splatoon 3, Breath of the Wild 2, Metroid Prime 4, or Bra Bayonetta 3. So, yeah, probably none of those, sadly. But we could see Shin Megami Tensei 5. <laughs> I actually never even started to play that series yet, but I did look at 3, and 3 does look interesting because it does have Dante from Devil May Cry, and it did start the whole meme with um, the sticker sla slapped on the cover saying featuring Dante for, from Devil May Cry, so I am curious to start playing that series. I might also start that for a stream because the game does look really fun. I remember when we got that update for Super Mario Party where it finally gave us online something we've been waiting for since forever. I feel like when they dropped that update, it wasn't like as much random as it was merely a test. Because if they were successful in creating it online for Mario Party, it's most likely they might try to continue that with another sequel such as Super Mario Party 2, so I feel like it might be a strong possibility we could see Super Mario Party 2 at E3. And of course, we still have two slots left for Fighter Pass 2 and Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Pirate Mithra left a bit of controversy with it being another anime sword character, so I'm curious who they'll try to get in at this point. There's only two I honestly want. The first being, I know it's, I just talked about an anime sword character, but still, I, can't, I really want to see Soul Bad Guy from Guilty Gear, because I the soundtrack, it would blow everyone's minds just to see the soundtrack in Smash, because it would be incredible to just be playing Smell of the Game on Battlefield. And most importantly, a Sonic rep. Oh wait, this is Shadow. Whoops, hold on. I have been waiting since 2008, since Brawl. Let me tell you, Brawl. Please, give me another Sonic rep, please, in Nintendo. Sonic has been alone while characters like Cloud and Shulk get allies, sort of, in their game. And do not give me Fortnite, because I've already said, if, if Fortnite somehow makes it in, I have to make a Fortnite dance video, and I do not want to do that at all. You do not want me doing any dances like that. Trust me. Well, that's all I got to say for this video. I'm really looking forward to next week and making content for everything that's going to be happening. So be sure to subscribe, follow me on Twitter for updates, and be sure to use my promo code GenGame to get 10% off of this water bottle product, because you definitely want to have this as your water bottle. So, that's all the time I got. I gotta start preparing for next week. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next week. Next week, about to go crazy!